I could probably fit a small stack of gift cards in these front pockets. <laughs> Welcome back to Lug Nut TV with Jesse G, a channel for lug nuts all about the brand Lug. In this video, we're gonna be covering two convertible backpacks, the Canter and the Mini Puddle Jumper 3. I've spent the last couple of days really going over these bags, their similarities and their differences. While these two are very similar, they're not quite interchangeable. Now, before we dive into the comparison, we're gonna talk about some lug hacks. Lug hacks that are submitted by you. Lug hack number one, when you're wearing your coupe, tuck this fabric zipper pull into the D-ring for a little bit of added security so that if anybody comes by and tries to open your front pocket, they can't. Sorry, back pocket. That is clever. And our final lug hack for this video is, and I quote, my lug hack is to have so many lug bags that none of them ever get worn out. This is also my hack that I wasn't quite consciously aware of. Yes, that did resonate with me quite a bit. I love that hack. If you wanna see your lug hack featured in a video, head to Lug Nut TV on Facebook, search for the lug hack post and comment what your lug hack is. Right, so let's jump right into it. Both of these are going to have a wipeable bottom, only the mini puddle jumper is going to also have the four plastic feet. Now, when it comes to the backpack straps, I couldn't find much of a difference at all. They're each going to have the anti-slip grip on the underside. You can adjust the length on both. And when you don't wanna use them as backpacks, they can hide away in that top pocket. And here is how they fold away. Really, you just tuck it into that pocket and those straps reach all the way down to the bottom of the pocket on the back of the bag. The D-rings that they attach to can also be folded up and slid away. They could've just left it like this, but they were like, you know what? We're gonna do that instead. And they did it here and they did it here. Now it's a nice clean look. Each of these bags are going to have a trolley sleeve and a back pocket. Now the back pockets are a little different. They're roughly the same size overall, but because the Canter has a Velcro closure and the mini puddle jumper has a zip closure, you're gonna get a little bit more height in the mini puddle jumper's pocket. Because if this was a zip, the closure would be up here, but instead it's down here. Overall, that is a small difference. But if it matters to you whether your bag has a zip closure or Velcro, that's something to keep in mind. The side cargo pockets, each are going to have the hidden magnetic closure and each are going to be very roomy. I can fit a chuggy in here and an umbrella. I can fit both in one pocket. Now we're going to talk about the organization on the front. You're going to have the signature softline cell phone pocket in the same place, and they seem to be the same size. I can fit the tram wallet in both and still get that magnetic closure shut with the wallet inside. And because the mini puddle jumper has more pockets and the canter has fewer, let's start here. So on the top, we've got twin pockets. And as a size reference for height, I can easily fit a bottle of nail polish in this pocket and get that zipper closed. You're gonna have a lot of space in these pockets because they have a huge gusset. And then what do we have here? There are pockets on these pockets. Pockets on pockets, pockets on pockets. They have very strong magnetic closures and I'm able to easily fit a gift card. I could probably fit a small stack of gift cards in these front pockets. Now let's compare the bottom pocket to the Cantor's only pocket. Each are going to have a soft line stretchy cargo pocket on the back wall. If you're also trying to put a wallet in here, you might run out of room. Now because the mini puddle jumper has its own generous gusset and the Cantor's does have a bit of a gusset but it tapers into the bottom of the bag you'll have more space in here and of the two only the Cantor will have a clear ID window the mini puddle jumper has four card slots and the Cantor has three the Cantor also has an elasticized loop which would be a great place to stick some chapstick or a little sanitizing pen all right now let's talk about the main interiors and you know what the main interiors are actually very similar so on one on wall, you will have a stretchy cargo pocket. The one in the mini puddle jumper is soft lined and the one in the canter is not. The one in the mini puddle jumper takes up that whole back wall. But if you're going to put something in here like a laptop, that pocket will be able to stretch to accommodate it and it will be able to lay flatter in here than it will in the mini puddle jumper. Did that make any sense? Moving on. So I can actually fit my 11 inch Chromebook in 
both of these pockets and yes, still get the bags closed. The knapsack will also fit in each and I can fit the knapsack and the Chromebook in the mini puddle jumper and get the zipper closed. I can fit both in the canter, but I cannot get the zipper closed after. And that's one of the main differences with these bags is even though they're a very similar size and a very similar height, the bag sort of tapers upward. With the mini puddle jumper, you have more of a shelf on top, which means you can fit taller items in here and you have more room for things stacked together. Now the height difference isn't major, but you can fit more along the top of this bag than you can in the canter. So if you're looking for the bag that has a little more capacity, it's gonna be the mini puddle jumper. And if the mini puddle jumper is still a little too small, then you're gonna be sizing up to the Via 2, and I'll go ahead and link a video to that down below. The mini puddle jumper will come with a board that you can push down and then lift back up when you wanna add structure to the bag and then store it away. The canter will not. Each of these bags are going to have a key clip. It's going to be bungee style in the canter, and it's a regular key clip in the mini puddle jumper. On the opposite wall, in each, you have a clear view pocket and two pen slots. The mini puddle jumper's clear view pocket will be larger in both height and width. So if you want the larger clear view pocket, this is gonna be your bag. Each bag comes with a crossbody strap that you can take off or put back on as you need it. The mini puddle jumper is gonna be the one that comes with the padded slider. That slider is also removable and the bottom will have the anti-slip grip. Now, when I pulled out my planner for this video, I was surprised to find that it fit in both of these bags and I was able to close the bags around it. I thought it was only going to fit in this one. So if you've got an eight and a half by 11 inch planner, it should be able to fit in either bag. So really when we break it down, the bags aren't too different. So now let's talk about the feel when you've got these bags on. Because the canter does taper upward toward the opening, it's gonna feel a little curved against your back. I actually find that to be extremely comfortable and it's a reason why I love wearing the canter as a backpack. The mini puddle jumper does not taper at all toward the top and pretty much the entire surface area is going to be laying against your back. So that's another thing to consider is you'll probably feel this one more when you've got it on as a backpack. And as far as weight goes when the bags are completely empty, if you're really looking for the lightweight option, it's going to be the canter. Probably because this has a little bit more going on. It's got those extra pockets. It's got a little bit of extra fabric. It's gonna have just a little bit more weight to it when it's empty. And I find both bags to be extremely comfortable and manageable as crossbodies. So when I've got them on as crossbodies, even though I'm pretty small, I don't feel like I'm overwhelmed by either one. You can also shorten the crossbody straps to wear either as a shoulder bag. And that's gonna wrap up this video. If you like this video and you wanna see more content like this, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're alerted to new content. Thanks so much for watching everybody. And like always, I'll see you guys next time.